what's up everyone and in this video we'll talk about rather not a new service it's google play pass in this video we'll explore this service so let's get started google play pass is a new service for android and chrome os users it has just released in my country australia but it has been in the us for over six months basically just like youtube premium you subscribe to google play pass which gives you access to hundreds of paid games well that's just the start with google play pass you won't have to pay any in-app purchases while playing games and while searching on google play store you won't see any advertisement and that's pretty much all it does if you have a family plan and you are the family manager then you can share your purchases with your family members the price for the family plan is not listed on the official website so i believe that price for the family plan as well as for individual is the same Google is offering 30 days free trial for new subscribers and after that you only pay $5 per month in the US. So how do you know which games are supported? Well it's easy. You just search for the game and if you see a message promoting Google Play Pass that means the game is eligible for Google Play Pass. Or you can go to the left hand menu where you will find Google Play Pass. Well it is limited to certain countries so if you can't find that option then the feature might not be available in your region. Anyway, there are about 450 games as of making this video in Google Play Pass and when you go to that tab, you will find hundreds of apps which are of course eligible. According to the Forbes website, in the US, the games which typically cost in between 1 to 10 bucks are eligible to be in Google Play Pass. So if your game costs more than 10 bucks, then it's a big no. Although I like Google Play Pass feature, but if I subscribe, I would love to have an option to pay with my Google Opinion Rewards app. I have used that app to pay for all the games in the history. Anyway, well, Google has left something for developers too. If you are a developer who wants their app to be featured, then you can fill a form on the official website. Just like YouTube, Google will pay you for your efforts. Google has also said that this feature will help new developers and creators who are struggling to put their apps in front of large audience. This will help them bring the app to the new audience. Anyway, that's pretty much all Google Play Pass is. Thanks for watching this video. I hope the information in the video was helpful. Please let me know what you think of this service in the comments down below. And as always, please subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos and stay up to date with new services releasing. Thank you and take care.